Hi and welcome to a new video. Microsoft Office applications are probably the world's most used productivity apps. With Microsoft 365, you can get access to apps such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, and OneDrive for a low subscription fee. In this video, I'll explain how to get, install, and use Microsoft 365 on your Mac with Apple Silicon. Let's go! Let's start with a quick overview of the apps included in a Microsoft 365. You can use Word to create and edit document files. Excel is for working on spreadsheet files, and PowerPoint is impressive for presentations. Outlook is great for organizing emails, managing and sharing calendar schedules, sharing files from the cloud, and many more. OneNote and OneDrive is also included in the subscription. And the best part of subscribing to Microsoft 365 is that you get one terabyte of cloud storage, which is great for uploading and syncing all of your files, such as photos or documents. Another advantage is that you will always have the latest versions of the applications. On December 15, 2020, Microsoft announced the new version of the Office Suite that runs natively on Mac. With this new version, you can be sure that Office programs will run fast and smoothly on your Mac. If you want to check which kind of chip is integrated on your Mac, click on the Apple logo in the top left corner. Go to About This Mac and under the tab Overview, you can check the information. For more details about the Microsoft update, visit the link in the description below. But how do you get Microsoft 365? You can sign up for a plan for one person or for a group of six users. The number of users determines the number of licenses and storage space available for the Office apps. You get a personal account for $70 per year or $7 per month. A personal account can only be used by one person and has one terabyte of storage. While the family plan gives access to six licenses with six terabyte of storage for $100 per year or $10 per month. I would recommend the family plan. For only $100 per year, you'll get six Microsoft Office licenses and six terabyte of cloud storage in total. By finding just one friend, you will already save money. If you click on the tag in the top right, you can get Microsoft 365 for less than the original website price. Now, to activate your license, you need to create an account first. You can sign up for free or sign in if you have an existing account. When you want to purchase MS365 on their website, click on Buy Microsoft 365. Once you made an external purchase of Microsoft 365, you need to activate your subscription via a redeem code. In most cases, you'll get that code on your mail from where you purchased the code. To activate license, click on the icon with your account's initials. Then tap on My Microsoft Account and choose the tab Services and Subscriptions. Here, click on Start Subscription with a Product Key. Sign in with the account you created and enter your redeem code. After that, your license is active for one year. You can use the web version of Microsoft 365 to work with the Office programs or install the app on your Mac. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to log in with your Microsoft account and click on Install Office to download the installation file. Once the file is successfully downloaded, you can click on it and the installation process will begin. Another way to install Microsoft 365 is through the App Store. Open it, search for MS365 using the search bar, and click on the Microsoft 365 App Collection. To install Microsoft 365 on your Mac, click on Get, then Install. It is possible that you will be asked to sign in to your Apple ID account before you can download the app on your Mac. There are six apps included in your Microsoft 365 bundle. All of them will be automatically downloaded when you install Microsoft 365. The download may take some time. Okay, how do you get started? When you open any Microsoft 365 app on your Mac for the first time, for example Word, you must first log in to your Microsoft account to activate Microsoft 365 on your device. Then you can use all of the Office applications. 
Because this is not a tutorial on how to use the Office programs, I don't want to get more into detail. Check out other YouTube videos to learn the basic function of each application. Besides the other apps, let me explain how to set up one of the main drivers of Microsoft 365, the Cloud Storage OneDrive. When you first open OneDrive on your device, you need to sign in to your Microsoft account again. Just follow the on-screen steps to set up your account. Once done, you have access to your OneDrive files. You can now store files on your cloud and access them from your Mac. If you want to get more information about how to use OneDrive on a Mac effectively, watch the video by clicking the tag in the top right or the link in the description below. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!